In this word problem, we must choose between two car rental agreements. In agreement one, a linear function has us pay $45 for 375 kilometers and $55 for 500 kilometers. In agreement two, we pay $46 for the first 220 kilometers and then we pay $3 for each complete or partial 60 kilometers added after that. We are asked which is the better agreement for a 250 kilometer trip and which is the better agreement for an 800 kilometer trip. In the linear function we are given enough information to find two points that are on the line and use those to find the slope and the equation. Then we can plug in our values, kilometers traveled, to find out the cost. The second agreement is a greatest integer function. The students in the course that I teach are not required to know how to graph a greatest integer function or to understand its parameters. That comes later. But they are required to work with one in a word problem situation. And we will be able to figure out what the cost would be for each length of trip. Starting with the linear function, we have to decide which are our x-coordinates and which are our y-coordinates in this situation. The cost is dependent on the kilometers traveled. So we would put the kilometers traveled on the x-axis, and therefore these are our x-coordinates, and the $45 and $55 are our y-coordinates. So we will write down the two points we have figured out so that we can do the slope formula. We have 375. 45 and 555. Using the slope formula, we get y2 minus y1 is 55 minus 45 and x2 minus x1 is 500 minus 375, which gives us 10 over 125, which reduces to 2 over 25. Our slope is 2 over 25. Now we can use that slope to find the equation of the line. 2 over 25 is equal to y minus over x minus, and then I can plug in either of these points. I'm going to choose 555. And we cross multiply. 25 times y minus 55 is equal to 2 times x minus 500. We have 25y minus 1375 equals 2x minus 1,000. 25y is equal to 2x minus 1,000 plus 1375 is plus 375. And then isolating my y, I get y is equal to 2 25ths x plus 15. We have derived the equation of our straight line, and we now can use it to figure out how much it would cost for each of these trips. Starting with our 250 kilometer trip, we have y equals 2 over 25 times 250 plus 15. We have substituted 250 for the x in the equation. We end up with y equals 20 plus 15. Therefore, y equals 35. And the unit of measure is dollars. So it would cost us $35 to use car rental agreement 1 for a 250 kilometer trip. Now let's try the 800 kilometer trip. We have y equals 2 over 25 times 800 plus 15. y is therefore equal to 64 plus 15, so y is equal to 79 unit of measure dollars. It would cost us $79 to use car rental agreement number one for an 800 kilometer trip. Now let's see how much it would cost us to use car rental agreement number two for each of these same trips. First thing we have to do is figure out how many extra kilometers are we traveling 
above 220. In the first trip, we have 250 kilometers that we are traveling, so we subtract 220, and we get a difference of 30, 30 extra kilometers. But if we take our 30 and we divide it by the 60 kilometers, we get 0 0.5, and we have to round that up because it is for each complete or partial. This is partial, and it would round up to be one extra 60 kilometers added. Therefore, in our equation, we will have $46 plus $3 times one extra 60 kilometers added, which gives us 46 plus 3, and the final answer is 49 with the unit of measure dollars. For car rental agreement 2, the 250 kilometer trip would cost $49. For the 800 kilometer trip, we have 800 minus 220 equals 580. So we are traveling an extra 580 kilometers. And then 580 divided by the 60 gives me 9 and 2 thirds times the extra 60 kilometers. We have to round it up, so therefore we have 10 times the extra 60 kilometers. Our $46, therefore, has to have $3 times 10 added to it, which is 46 plus 30, which is 76 unit of measure dollars. It would cost us $76 to use car rental agreement number two for an 800 kilometer trip. Therefore, we can see that for the smaller distance traveled, the first car rental agreement is better. It costs us $35 rather than $49. But as we get into a longer trip, this changes. For the 800 kilometer trip, it is a better deal to use car rental agreement number two, which costs us $76, whereas rental agreement one would have cost $79.